offshore electrics has pretty quickly become a source for anything boat related so I made another order from them. I recently got a Blackjack 24 and I've made this my project boat. Doing um, little upgrades to it, learning my way around boats and uh, this next order is a few of these upgrades uh, that I'll be putting into the Blackjack 24. Team Baxter. I recently adjusted the cooling system and I got some plastic Y adapters. Um, here they are here. You can see they, they're pretty small and light. Pull them out of the pack. Um, I got two of them. Last time I got seven thirty seconds um, and that seems to restrict the flow just a little bit. I'm using quarter inch tubing so I don't want that restriction. So I got rid of those 730 seconds and traded them for these quarter inch Y adapters. That will leave me with no restrictions on the tubing. So along with the Y adapters, the quarter inch Y adapters, I've also gotten more uh, silicone tubing. This is quarter inch silicone tubing and it goes uh, right in tandem with these uh, quarter inch Y adapters. And that leads right out to the side of the boat. I have holes drilled directly into the side of the boat and that's where the hose comes out. The factory only gives you one grommet and a small reducer to get the output out of the side of the boat. I wanted to neaten that up so along with this tubing I got a pair of these large outlets. These are quarter inch outlets. I was a little worried that they were too big but they're actually just a hair uh, larger than the original outlets provided by ProBoat. So I'm going to go ahead and give these a try. Um, I do not have to drill a larger hole. That's the main reason why I'm going to go ahead and try these out. These outlets happen to fit exactly in the hole that ProBoat has uh, provided. And the hole on the other side is a bit smaller. I drilled that myself. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is widen that to the ProBoat hole size and go ahead and get these installed. If I do have any problems, what I'll do is reduce the hose that goes to this um, outlet. I'll reduce that to 730 seconds, uh, which will still work. It'll be a little tight on that end, but it'll still fit over there. And uh, that's how I'll reduce the flow if needed. So those are adjustments to my cooling system. I'll set these aside for now. Uh, pretty happy with these uh, Y adapters. I was a little skeptical about them at first being plastic but I put the hose around them and put a little zip tie on them and they work just fine. Outlets pretty heavy with those as well. They go on with the hex driver and there's a nice little screw to screw them in in the back. Uh, got all of this from OSE. Uh, just regular stock. The Blackjack 24 has sufficient electronics and I'd say that's about it. It has a 30 amp ESC, the same that's on a 17 inch boat that Probo also sells called the Recoil. So one of the first things I wanted to do was upgrade the ESC. I chose a Hobby King 60 amp ESC. Um, I actually didn't settle on this ESC. I'm back and forth between a 60 amp and a 120 amp, which is definitely overkill for the 24 inch blackjack. Uh, but um, in that same hand, the 120 will take anything I throw at it. So I initially bought the 60 and then right after that I got the 120. The 120 isn't here yet um, but I'm going to see how the 60 amp goes and um, this 60 amp will end up in another boat in the future. But for now I'm going to install the Sea King 60 amp uh, ESC from Hobby Wing just to see how it does um, and see how it performs. Uh, it may be quite enough considering that does quite well with the 30 amp ESC that comes with it. Um, and this doubles that. So, it's just covered with a thin piece of uh, shrink wrap. Pop it open, and there's your ESC right up top. It's a pretty substantial ESC. Nice black color. Uh, no, that doesn't matter much, but it does to me looks. I'm trying to pull the box out. It's just stuck in there just a little bit. But yeah, underneath, I'm not going to take the ESC out right now. But you can see Hobbywing ESC, uh, water cooled. 
underneath you've got your standard bullet connectors for the motor uh, two leads to solder on the battery connector of your choice of course the plug for the ESC to go into the receiver and you've got a small power switch uh, which seems to have a little hook to mount on something screw holes to mount on something on off and it has a little waterproof um, jacket over top of the power switch so let's set that aside and see what else is in the box so there appears to be a little bit of double sided tape for mounting a few pieces of shrink wrap for you to terminate your ends when you solder on the connection hobby wing stickers because I'm definitely not going to put those on I can't say that the small black one isn't so bad and shows support nice bright pink one for uh somebody <laughs> not uh and the user manual so that's the esc uh th like i said this may be more than sufficient but i'm kind of gonna go a little bit overkill on this one um definitely gonna put the 60 amp in there and run it for a little bit and see how it does uh, waterproof not gonna be testing those capabilities but it is definitely waterproof uh, well it's claimed to be waterproof but again I won't be testing that uh, 60 amp ESC um, and it's capable of connecting to the to the programming card which may or may not come in the future depending on how the performance is um, I believe this is the same ESC that Dynamite uses and rebrands um, in their products very similar product to what's already in there so that's the ESC I chose for the motor I'm trying something new I chose this Leopard brushless motor this is a 2750 uh, never used a Leopard before this is the first time I've dealt with them again I got this from OSC go ahead and pull the plastic never got a motor in a can either pop the seal so pretty unique package in here pulled top off and got a motor with some monster connectors on there super heavy duty wire couple extra connectors in there to put on your ESC and a balled up instruction manual in a little tiny plastic bag Leopard motor not much to say about it it's a 2750 kV motor um, brushless um, open end bells for ventilation and this motor comes with a free water jacket from offshore electrics um, not sure if other vendors sell it but this came with it free water jacket would have got it if it wasn't free but free is always nice um so that will be going on there and that's the motor for this sea king the next project is getting it installed and seeing how well the boat does on it